Greetings, Mr. Lane. Greetings, Mr. Lane. Mr. Lane, Mr. Shaw of Summit Group, has scheduled a meeting with you to discuss the new water park project at Fortunate Reservoir. Preliminary valuation of the project is $5 billion. Okay. Mr. Shaw reserved for you an 88th floor ocean view room, and he gifted you a bottle of Lafitte. Also, your caviar salad is ready, paired with Provencal, olive oil, and 12-year-aged balsamic. Okay. Hello, Nina. I've arrived at the hotel. Vivian, I think you should drop it. Mr. Wayne is just a creep. It's just your painting. Got plagiarized by his company. Why not just paint a new one? Don't bother argue with them. It's not the first time. They plagiarized my work. This time, I'm not letting it go. Nina, don't worry. I will handle it well. Mr. Wayne, you're out of line. Mr. You. You. Who sent you? You re not Mr. Wayne. Sorry, I got the wrong room. Please let go of me. Playing hard to get. Oh, Vivian, what have you done? Weren't you here to argue with Mr. Wayne? How'd you end up in bed with this handsome guy? Oh, you're really dumb. Hello? Hello, Vivian. Do you remember we talked about introducing you to my son when he's back? I just adore you. I wish you'd be my daughter-in-law. Mrs. Lane, saving you last time was no big deal. You don't have to. Keep bringing it up. Vivian, you're such a nice girl. I know my son might not be worthy of a wonderful girl like you. But if you give him a chance, you might end up liking him. Fine, Mrs. Lane. I'll give it a try. Never mind. He might not even be interested in me. Mr. Lane, we've checked it. The girl in your room last night was Vivian Yates. She's a painter. Is she from Summit Group? We've checked it. The girl sent by Summit Group had an emergency and couldn't make it in time. So Vivian's not from Summit Group, but someone had tampered with the wine you had last night. Warn Summit Group not to pull any more tricks like this. Yes. Mom? Son, you're back. I heard from the family doctor that you're not feeling well. Feeling better now? Yes, I'm better. If I hadn't said that, would you have come back? I've arranged a blind date for you. Now get yourself ready. Don't keep the girl waiting too long. A blind date? I'm not interested in this kind of thing. This girl I arranged for you is different. You'll definitely like her. I don't want to waste my time on women. Are you trying to piss me off? Waste your time? No wonder you're still single. Listen, if you don't go on that blind date, I will. Oh, I feel bad. Mom. Mom. Okay, okay, I'll go. That's my good son. Hello, Mrs. Lane. I've arrived. Okay. Got it. Really? A marriage by an agreement? I just want my mom to stop bothering me about this. If that's what she wants, fine. It doesn't matter who I marry. 
Is he coming or not? Hello. No, no, no. Please leave. I have a date here. Let me introduce myself. I'm Ethan Lane. This is a marriage agreement. Take a look. A marriage agreement? What? A marriage agreement? You want to marry me? A fake marriage? I'll pay you $300,000 per month. When the agreement ends, I'll give you another $20 million and a villa. Enough for you to live a comfortable life. A fake marriage? Sir, is marriage a joke to you? You marry when you feel like it and divorce when you want? You are not rich, are you? I'm just trying to escape the marriage pressure. If you think the offer isn't enough, you can talk to my lawyer. Okay, then. I agree. Let's go. Where to? To get our marriage registered. About our fake marriage, keep it a secret from my mom. You should know what to do when meeting my mom, right? Yes. Hey, Vivian is here. Hi, Mrs. Lane? Still calling me that. Call me mom. Mom? Oh, yes. My son finally thought it through. Even marriages as efficient as doing business to him. I hired a top chef to cook for you. See if it suits your own taste. Thanks, Mom. Okay, let's go. Are we really going to sleep in the same bed? Yes, my mom will do random checks. If she finds out we are sleeping two beds, she'll doubt us. Quietly, Helen. Mom, what are you doing? I just came up to have a look. Have a look, Helen. Look at you. You're so careless. Mrs. Lane, it wasn't me. Vivian, Ethan, Helen and I will leave you two to your privacy. You two go on, go on. Mom, I... By the way, Ethan, I'm going to East Bay Island for vacation tomorrow. I won't disturb your private time. And the door lock is broken. I'll have the locksmith come to change the lock later. You don't need to worry. I'll tell the maids not to disturb you. Is this what you mean by a random check? Things like this will happen often. You need to get used to it. Okay. Oh, right. About your design drafts being copied by Thomas Company. I've already had Chris gather evidence and send it to the lawyer. Within three days, they, they will surely apologize to you and compensate for all of losses. Really? I'm sorry? That was abrupt. Thank you. Is this woman really approaching me without other motives? Hello, Tracy. What's up? Class reunion. Okay, I'll be there soon. Isn't that Mrs. Lane? What's she doing here? Go check it, see if the hotel is hosting some event today. Yes. Hi, everyone. Sorry we're late. Tracy, Hank, we arrived late due to a motorway holdup. It's okay. We just got here, too. Wendy, it's been a while. You get prettier. You too. When I came in, I thought you were a movie star. <laughs> Wendy, stop teasing me. Hey, I heard Ross got hired by Lane Group. Well, I became a full member a few days ago. Haha. <laughs> Lately, Ross closed two big deals, so he got promoted. Lane Group is the top company in the world. Getting a job there, you are already halfway to success. Thank you. Sorry, I'm late. Vivian, why are you all sweaty for a class reunion? There's no bus or subway near where I live, so I came here by bike. In this day and age, you still ride a bike? Vivian, why are you just standing? Have a seat.
Ross is now an employee of Lane Group. You know what? He's making tens of thousands a month. Congrats. So, Vivian, what's your job now? Still painting, maybe. I heard when Ross and you were a couple, you always stayed in the studio. You barely had time to date. I painting is not too bad. You can set up a stand to make fifty bucks a day. Shouldn't be hard, right? Vivian, why didn't you bring your boyfriend to our reunion? He has to work. Work? What job requires working on Saturday? Look at Ross. He works in a big company with fourteen-month pay and amazing benefits. What does your boyfriend do? He. Don't tell me you don't have a boyfriend yet, or are you still hung up on Ross? Vivian, we're no longer making it up. Okay, you're just an undergraduate. While I've got a master's degree, moreover, I'm working at a top company like Lane Group, and you—you you don't even have a job, right? We're not on the same level. We just don't match in any way. We won't be happy together. Don't waste your time on me, okay? So what with a master's degree? Does that make you superior to others? Everyone is trying to live their best. Degrees cannot measure someone's value. Don't be mad, Vivian. We were classmates. It's not easy to get together. Let's just eat, okay? To you, Vivian. Vivian, Wendy's toasting you, and you just ignore her. Vivian, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is the birthday gift Ross bought me. Harmus Classic. Can you even afford to pay? I'm sorry. Sorry? I think you did it on purpose. How much is it? I'll pay for it. How much was your dress? I'll pay you. This is Harmus Classic Style. Two hundred thousand. There's three hundred thousand in this card, Roo. What? Who's this guy? How can he casually take out so much money? Who are you? I'm Vivian's husband. Now, as you requested, I've paid for the dress. Now let's settle the rest. You just slapped Vivian, right? Now apologize to her. Why should I apologize to her? My dress got stained. Why can't I just slap her? I said apologize to her. Just don't you understand me? Don't make me say it again. Vivian, what is this? Are you letting your husband bully my wife in front of me? Vivian, we're all classmates. It's not easy for us to gather today, but your husband is ruining it. I'm not even sure if there's really three hundred thousand in this car, and you already put on airs. Vivian, what does your husband do? So this isn't really a class reunion. You didn't come here to catch up with me. You all just want to see how miserable and pathetic I am. What are you talking about? I was just joking with you earlier. Why would I get upset over a dress with you, Vivian? Let your husband sit down. Let's eat. Were you just joking around? Yes, Vivian. We were just joking. We're all classmates. Don't take it to heart. Sit down and eat. Sit. Wendy, I think Vivian's husband is pretty handsome. He has a sense of nobility. Good looks can't feed you. Even a security guard these days looks handsome. Exactly. Hey, Vivian, what does your husband do? Is he also a painter? He run a business. These days, even street vendors call themselves businessmen. The economy's rough. Why bother struggling? Look at Ross. He was hired by Lane Group with a high salary as soon as got a master's degree, and he just became a full member, making nearly a million a year. What about your husband? How much does he make? Lane Group? Don't tell me you haven't even heard of Lane Group, the top company in Sunnydale. You guys are out of line. Oh, all right, all right. If we keep talking, Vivian will be upset again. Hello, dear guests. Our boss said that your meal today is free. Oh, Wendy, your uncle is the deputy general manager here, and you are a platinum member. It must do to you. We get the meal free, right? I guess so. My uncle, honestly, should have at least let me know. Hello, sir. This is our hotel's executive menu. Is there anything else you need? You order me. I'd like scrambled eggs with tomatoes and sweet and sour pork. 
<laughs> Seriously, this is Pearl Hotel, a fancy place. You're ordering these dishes? Wendy, you should do the order. I came here not to eat some street food. Waitress, give me the menu. First, I want a beluga caviar. For the main course, give us four Charolais steaks, medium rare, served on warmed plates with a sprinkle of rose salt on top. The lobsters look good. Bring two of those. And last, two bottles of Lafitte. All right, ma'am. Order these dishes at Pearl Hotel. It'll be a joke when it gets out. Excuse me, who says we can't have home-style food at Pearl Hotel? What my wife wants to eat is none of your business. How long have you known Vivian? You probably don't know this. Her mom is a maid and she can't speak. I heard that when she was young. She acted shamelessly. That's why she ended up like this. That's enough. What are you doing? Washing out your filthy mouth. Touching my wife? How dare you? What are you doing? Oh, Mr. Gray. Mr. Gray, you're here. Mr. Lane, I didn't notice you come here. Please don't mind. Mr. Lane? This, Mr. Gray, you called him Mr. Lane? Wendy, isn't Mr. Gray here for your sake? I, Mr. Gray, this guy just caused trouble here. He even splashed water on me. Mr. Gray, you must stand up for me. Yeah, I was just about to handle him myself. That's when you showed up. Idiot. Do you know who he is? He said he's a businessman. These days, even street vendors call themselves businessmen. He looks so well-dressed, but... Mr. Gray, don't get fooled by him. How dare you? Do you even know who he is? He's the top heir of Sunnydale. Mr. Lane. What? How could he be that powerful heir? Lane family. Lane family's heir. Ethan Lane. He's the CEO of Lane Group. Mr. Lane. Vivian, is he really your husband? Well, since you all know who I am now, you should know how I handle things. That's impossible. How could Vivian's husband possibly be Mr. Lane of the top family? She's just a maid's daughter. How could she match him? What kind of woman I like is none of your business. Chris, check if we have an employee named Ross. Okay, fire him in three minutes and blacklist him. One minute delay, you'll take the blame. Mr. Lane, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were Mr. Lane. If I knew, I would never dare to offend you. Mr. Lane, Vivian, you really married into a great family. For the sake of our past relationship, please plead for me. Relationship? What kind of relationship do we have? Just a moment ago, you made every effort to make me feel worthless. And now you mention relationship? We were just joking around Vivian. Yeah, Vivian. We were just kidding. We didn't mean it. Vivian, I just got my master's degree. You can't just ruin my future. Vivian. Please pled for me. You brought this on yourself. Let's go. By the way, Mr. Gray, about your project of Rose Town, I plan to invest 200 million, but today everyone here has made my wife upset. Do I need to tell you what to do? No, no. I'll definitely make you satisfied. Mr. Lane, Mr. Lane. Oh no. It's all over. So who's going to pay the bill? Mr. Gray, she, Wendy, this has nothing to do with us. This meal costs two million in total. Wendy, are you paying by card or cash? What, two million? Mr. Gray, I don't have that much money in my card. Didn't the waitress just say it was free? For Mr. Lane, yes. But for you, no. Cut the crap, pay it quickly. Otherwise, I'll have to handle it my way. Oh, Mr. Gray, I only have a hundred thousand. I don't have that much. Someone, take Wendy and Ross to the hotel kitchen to wash dishes. Don't let them go until they work off the debt. As for them, give them a lesson. Wash dishes? Mr. Gray, I can't wash dishes. Mr. Gray, I'm a graduate. I can't wash dishes either. Hello, Mr. Charles. Ross, I'm formally notifying you. You're officially fired by Lane Group now. What? From now on, there will be no company could hire you. Mr. Charles, please give me. Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles. You deserve it.
Thanks for today. I really appreciate it. That guy, Ross, is he really your ex? Even mentioning him makes me angry. I must have been blind back then. After he got into grad school, he looked down on me because I only had a bachelor's degree. While we were dating, he cheated on me with Wendy. Do you still like him? How could I still like him? Even if all the men on earth were disappeared, I wouldn't give him a second look. He's a total jerk. I'm telling you, all men in the world are not nice people. They're always wanting more, never satisfied. Oh, I'm sorry. I was too emotional. Of course, not all men are trash. For example, you, Mr. Lane, you're our sincere, really. Mr. Lane, did something happen? Chris, if a woman says all men in this world are not nice people, what does she mean? I guess she might have been hurt by love, or maybe she can't get over her ex. Her ex? Mr. Lane, where are you going? To discuss with Mr. Thompson about the investment, details for the new movies about exes. Zeke Lane? I haven't seen his work in almost three years. Didn't expect to see it at this exhibition. This portrait of a young girl is quite different from his usual style. Photographer, is Lucy coming or not? Zeke has been waiting for nearly half an hour. I'm so sorry, but Mr. Zeke, our periodical office just told us Lucy had a minor accident on the way here. She might need to rest for a week or two. Oh, don't worry. Our editor has called for a backup model. She'll be here soon. But Zeke has an academic seminar to attend later. Zeke really doesn't like being late. I'm terribly sorry. No need to rush. I found a suitable person, that girl. Hello, I'm Zeke Lane. Zeke Lane? So this painting... Yes, I painted it. If you like it, you can have it. But I need you to do me a favor. What? What favor? Come with me. Mr. Zeke, get a little closer. That's right. Our theme this time is to show... Aesthetics. Come on a bit closer. Do you mind it? I... I don't mind. Oh, it's your cousin, Master Zeke. I've heard that Master Zeke just came back from abroad. He joined a painting institution. All the funds from this exhibition will be donated to children in mountainous areas. Isn't that Mrs. Lane? Mr. Lane, why are they together? I can see it clearly. I'm not blind yet. Easy. It's forced perspective. Mr. Zeke, take a break and fix your makeup. These photos are amazing. Come take a look. Let's go have a look. Look, Mr. Zeke, what do you think? Good. I need to use the restroom. It is upstairs. I'll lead you there. It's fine. I'll go by myself. Why are you here? I should ask you that. Why are you here? I'm here for the art exhibition. It's a very famous exhibition. I came here to watch and learn. Art exhibition? Since when? You have to be all over another man to attend an art exhibition? I wasn't all over anyone. I saw everything clearly downstairs. Oh, that was Zeke Lane. He's a famous painter, my idol. Three years ago, he left the art world due to health issues, but he's made a comeback. He's just working on a shoot in need of a female model, so he asked me to help. Idol? A photo shoot? How could he just grab a passerby and start shooting? And you're so intimate, you... We weren't being intimate. Let me go. The second half of the shoot is about to start. You can't go. What are you doing? This is work. Besides, I've already shot the first half. There's no reason to leave halfway through. This will delay his schedule. Let go of me. Chris tells Zeke to handle the shoot himself. I'm taking Vivian with me. Well, Mr. Zeke, where is Vivian? Our second half of the shoot is about to begin. Could she be lost? I'll go check upstairs. Master Zeke, Mr. Lane asked me to tell you that he's taken Vivian with him. As for the rest of the shoot, Mr. Zeke, you need to handle it yourself. There's some models available in Blue Sky Media, which we just took over. As long as you need, we can schedule the shoot anytime. She's Ethan's woman? Yes. 
Let me go. It hurts. What let you go so you can go find Zeke? What's wrong with you? I told you it's just a shoot. Why are you so narrow-minded? Narrow-minded? Isn't it true? I met my idol. I got the chance to interact with him and could even take photos together. That is such a great thing for me. But what are you doing? Let go. Who else? First it was your ex, then it was Zeke. Who else? I don't understand what you're saying. Let me out of the car, or else. Well, now you're threatening me, or else what? Or else I'll tell your mom. You bullied me. She'll cancel your family inheritance. You won't get a penny from Lane family. Fine. Then let's start together, from scratch. But, but be aware of this. I used to be ruthless, and I've got a lot of enemies. Starting from scratch will be at least ten times harder than ordinary people. You'd better be mentally prepared. I don't want to live a tough life with you. Fine. There's a family dinner tonight. You'd better prepare for that. Family dinner? What do I need to prepare? Your mind. You. Sarah, why haven't Ethan and his wife arrived yet? Dad, they'll be here soon. I just called. They'll be here in two minutes. All right. Mom, Grandpa, I'm here. Come have a seat. Happy birthday, Grandpa. This is a birthday gift for you. It's nice of you to come. No need for any gifts. Ha 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 ha. Mr. Zeke. Vivian, what a coincidence. Mr. Zeke, sorry for what happened today. I had my reasons. I hope it didn't delay your shoot. It's no big deal, the photographer said. The first half of the shoot went very well. The second half doesn't really matter. That's good. Vivian, why are you standing? Take a seat. Vivian, come here. Sit next to me. I'll show you some photos I took yesterday. Okay. Ha ha ha. It's rare to see Zeke getting close to someone. I thought Zeke didn't like getting close to people. Ha <laughs> ha. Exactly. It must be because of Vivian's great charm. Even Zeke likes getting close to her. Ethan, you'd better act fast. Quickly, have a baby with Vivian. Yes. Ethan, I'm waiting for you and Vivian to have a child. Come, have a drink with me. What a foolish woman. Mr. Zeke. Vivian, don't call me like that. Just call me Zeke. Zeke, you left the art field years ago. Was it due to plagiarism? I'm always on your side. I believe in you. Anyone may plagiarize, but you... You would never do that. Do you really trust me? Of course, Mr. Zeke. You're my idol, the greatest genius artist. You could never do such a thing as plagiarizing. Vivian, you're right. Zeke would never plagiarize. That thing has already been cleared up. It's just that Zeke didn't make it public. Why not make it public? Because the real plagiarist was a friend of Zeke. Zeke didn't want to ruin his friend's reputation. So he stayed silent about it. All right, Auntie. It's all in the past. And now I have Vivian to believe in me. That's enough for me. I'll always believe in you, Mr. Zeke. You boy, it's top quality wine. That's not how you drink it. If you can't taste it, don't drink it. What a waste. No wonder your mom says, you're stuffy, you never say, what's on your mind, who knows what you're thinking. I have nothing to say. Stubborn, one day, that'll get you into trouble. Vivian, when are you planning to give me a grandson? Mom, well, it's up to Ethan. Ethan, Ethan listens to whatever I say. As for having a baby, the sooner the better. Oh, are you okay, Ethan? Vivian. Ethan's drunk. Take him to rest. Look at him. Why did he drink so much? Mom, Grandpa, I'll help him back to rest. Vivian, let me help. Why you... just let her do it. You, stay and drink with me. Vivian, quick, take him back. Just looking at him annoys me, wasting my good wine. Yeah, yeah, quick. Help him back. Okay, okay. We'll head out then. What are you doing? Hmm, you're being naughty. You're drunk. Stop it. You like Zeke. I don't. Let me go. Answer my question. I... Well, the, then answer me with your body. Stop it. Ethan, 
You've drunk too much. It hurts. What are you doing? You're drunk. How about I take you for a bath? You... Answer my question. Otherwise, I'll really do it. What question? Your ex and Zeke, which one do you like? You're quite ambitious. So many men in your heart. You know what I want to hear. Answer me straight. I don't like them. I like... Like... Like whom? You're married. Do you know that? I know. Isn't it enough having me? Oh, right, Nina. Could you check something for me? Are there any good storefronts near Sunny Street? Yes. I'm looking for a place to restart my studio. All right. See you there. I made some soup to get you sober. I'm not drunk. You're not drunk? Right. I'm not drunk. Then last night? What about last night? What about last night? Should I physically remind you what happened last night? You pervert, a total scoundrel in a suit. Keep going. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Honestly, I forgot what happened last night, but it, I don't mind if you do it again to help me remember Regu. Mr. Lane, you sure are forgetful. Chris, help me check. The shops are around Sunny Street. It Mr. Lane, didn't you say that area has no growth potential for the next five years? Then figure out a way to make it have growth potential. My wife wants a studio shop around Sunny Street. All right, I'll do it. Vivian, why did you pick Sunny Street for your studio? I don't think the area is good enough, and it's in the suburbs. Netizens say this area used to be a large graveyard. At night, they hear strange noises. It's cheap around here. Besides, why does a studio have to be in the city center? City people aren't exactly the type to appreciate art. That's just a stereotype. Anyone who loves art can appreciate it anywhere. By the way, Vivian, I heard you got married. Why haven't you told me about it? I... Tell me now. Who's the guy? Five hundred thousand. What? It's just a scratch. Five hundred thousand? Exactly. Isn't this extortion? Hey, it's a brand new car. I just flew it in this morning, which cost me nearly thirty million. Is five hundred thousand too much? It was just a scratch. Not that serious. Did you get insurance? Let's go through the claim process. No insurance. Just pay me five hundred thousand. What should we do, Vivian? How can we have that much money? Five hundred thousand is my whole year's salary. Well, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, you see, your car took up two parking spots. You're partly responsible, too. How about we... These two parking spots were all bought by me. What? I parked in my own parking spots. Do you have a problem with that? No, no problem. What do we do now? If you don't want to pay, fine. I'll call my lawyer. Hello, Mr. Owen. I'm at Titan Square. My new car... Hold on, Mr. Lee. I'll pay you. We can negotiate. I'll call now to have the money sent over. Please make it quick. I have an important meeting to attend. Vivian, are you crazy? We don't have that much money, and you need to rent a studio. I'll make a call. Hello, Mr. Quinn. Bad news, Mr. Lane. Something happened. What is it? Mrs. Lane, she... What happened to her? She scratched a car. It's been ten minutes, lady. My time is really valuable. Are you going to pay, or should I have my lawyer send a letter? Mr. Lee, please wait. My man will be here soon. You need someone to deliver it? These days, who doesn't have a few million on their phone? Are you calling for backup to beat me up? See, the whole Titan Square is owned by me. What should we do, Vivian? Maybe I should just take a loan. I'm scared. Don't be scared, Nina. I've already called for help. I have a meeting to attend. Looks like you can't afford to pay. Just wait for the lawyer's letter. I'll pay. It's Ethan Lane, the heir of Lane family in Sunnydale. Vivian, he's the one. You called? Nina, he's actually... Hold on, let me take a breath. 
Oh, it's you, Ethan. 500,000 for this. I just got this new car. I've barely driven it for an hour, and it's already scratched by someone. I feel pretty annoyed. All right, let me introduce you. She is my wife. What? Your wife? Are you serious, Ethan? What do you think? Well, why didn't you mention it earlier? We're all family. It's just a scratch. No big deal. I heard you're sending a lawyer's letter or something. Just send it to my company. I'll have our lawyer take a look. Chris, call the insurance company. Have them come. Check the car. Yes. Ethan, I'm really sorry. I didn't know. She's your wife. Just let it go. It's mostly our fault this time. Did you hear that? I'm just protecting my own rights. So you asked for 500,000? I Even if not 500,000, it's at least 10,000. This car paint was all paid by me. It cost me 700,000. My heart was bleeding. Well, Ethan, Vivian's going to shop at Titan Square, right? I'll pay for everything today. What do you say? Are you satisfied? I don't need to pay him now. No, no way I'd dare. All right. I have a meeting to attend. I'll leave now. Ethan's still in the middle of a meeting. But to handle this minor car scratch for you, he came over by himself. Don't you feel ashamed? If it weren't for you, Mr. Lane wouldn't have to come over by himself. I'm also innocent, okay? This is my new car. I drove it for less than an hour, and it was scratched. My heart hurts. But you can't just demand 500,000. Is that a lot? I feel like I'm asking for too little. Come on, Vivian. I'll take you shopping. Well, thank you for helping out today. Do you know what day today is? What day? Why does Ethan stare at me like that? Spring equinox? Forget it. Um, well, it rained all day in the south area. I forgot to bring an umbrella. I'll go and wash up. Was it raining in the south area? Vivian. Dr. Jones, come over to my place now. Cold. Still cold? Cold, cold. Feeling better now? Mr. Tate, I don't agree with your proposal. Starting the project in a mountain city is way too risky. Ethan, did you change my clothes? Earlier, you... I'm on a video conference. This is... This is the living room. Why don't you go to the study? This is a shared space. Should I just move out so you can have the whole place? How about that? Why are you so harsh with me? Did you change my clothes? Of course. Who else could it be? You... You're such a jerk. A total creep. What are you doing? Didn't you call me a creep? I might as well live up to that title you gave me. I can't let my wife down. You... Mom, what's up? Ethan, I was at a party yesterday and forgot about... your birthday. You're not mad at me, right? Oh, it's just a birthday. No big deal. Did you have fun with your friends? His birthday? No wonder he asked what day it was last night. Oh my. I was so careless. How could I forget something so important? Happy birthday. Sorry, I did write it in my memo, but I was too busy and forgot. 
What's this? Longevity noodles. I'm very good at it. Try it. I don't like this stuff. Give it a try. Just one bite. Is it good? No. Fine. Whatever. I'm going to check out the shop today. Well, Mr. Lane, think about what you like to eat, and I'll treat you next time. So childish. Vivian, what a coincidence. Mr. Zeke, why are you here? I came to get some inspiration. What are you doing here? I've been looking for a suitable shop to start a studio. Looking for a shop? I can help you. I know this place well. Really? That's great. Thank you, Mr. Zeke. Never mind. Come on. I'll show you a place. It's perfect for an art studio. Okay. Mr. Zeke, the rent here must be expensive, right? About 20. 100,000 a month. What? 20 hundred thousand? Isn't Sunny Street the cheapest area in Sunnydale? This shop is located in prime location with nice environment. Vivian, let's go inside and take a look. The environment is nice, but it's too expensive. This place belongs to a friend of mine. He's abroad right now, and it's just sitting empty. If you like it, I can talk to him. He's not short of money, and he doesn't rely on renting for income. Let him rent it with monthly 20000 How about it? Is this proper? We're family. No need to be so formal. Oh, by the way... It's my birthday today. If you're shy of that, you can treat me to dinner. Your birthday? Yes, it's just one day apart from my cousins. It's settled then. I'll help you secure the art studio, but you need to treat me to dinner. Mr. Lane, here's the list of properties near Sunny Street. Since Mrs. Lane wants an art studio, I picked some C. Serene Estates. This Blue Water Estate looks nice. Contact the owner and buy it. The owner of Blue Water Estate is... Mr. Lewis from Snow Group. He has a project to discuss with you. Would you like me to schedule a meeting? Make it today. Arrange it for me. Yes. Mr. Zeke, this is where you want to have dinner? Yes, it's my friend's restaurant. So, I came to check. If you think it's too pricey, I can ask my friend for a discount. No, no, it's fine. You've helped me with the studio. It's fair that I spend some money. Have a seat. Come on, see what you like to drink. I want juice. Juice it is, and a salad, plus two desserts that girls all love. How about it? Okay. Oh, Vivian, let me show you the photos we took last time. Mr. Lane, isn't that Mrs. Lane? Mr. Lane, Mr. Lewis has been waiting in the VIP lounge upstairs. Chris, tell me, why has she never smiled or so happily when, when she's with me? She might think that you're... Think I'm what? Maybe. She thinks you're important. When people are with someone they like, they tend to feel more uneasy. It's completely normal. Do you think she likes me? Well... She can laugh with any other guy, but when she's with me... It's like I'm about to eat her alive. Is that a sign that she likes me? Maybe. You're a bit stern. That might make Mrs. Lane misunderstand. Is stern? Mr. Zeke, I painted these shoes myself. I hope you like them. Wow, Vivian, I can't believe you. Prepared a gift for me. I'm so touched. Thank you. Mr. Zeke, actually, you're my idol. To be honest, you have always been an example to me. I've always wanted to reach the same level as my idol and do what I love. Vivian, it's a shame I didn't meet you sooner. Ethan, why are you here? What? Did I mess up your good time? Ethan, aren't you overreacting a bit? I'm, but I'm just having a drink with Vivian. It's my birthday today. She's here to celebrate with me. What could we possibly do in public? You're celebrating with him. Then what am I? It's not exactly like that. Mr. Zeke found me an art studio, and I just found out it's his birthday today. You asked him to do that for you? I just happened to run into Zeke. He said that his friend has a shop. So we signed the lease. Come back with me. What are you doing? Let go of me. Come back with me. Don't make me say it again. Ethan, can you stop being so unreasonable? Mr. Zeke did me a big favor. It's only fair I treat him to a meal as a thank you. Let go of me. Ethan, it's just a meal. Isn't this a bit much? Besides, you two are already married. What can we possibly do? 
Ethan, what are you doing? Let him go. Ethan, what are you doing? Stop it. Are you crazy? I said stop it. What? Are you heartbroken? You're insane. Can't you just talk? Why did you hit him? Ethan, I do think Vivian's pretty great. If I had met her earlier, maybe I'd be the one who married her. Mr. Zeke. How dare you covet my woman? If I'm not mistaken, you have emotional issues, right? Do you even know how to care for someone? Whether I know or not, how to care for someone has nothing to do with you. Zeke, I'm telling you, she's my woman. If you dare to steal her, I have plenty of ways to kick you out of Sunnydale. Are you threatening me? If threats work, I'll keep using them. Let go of me. I'll say it one last time. Come with me. Hey, you. Mr. Zeke. Vivian, everything I just said is true. Mr. Zeke. Vivian, I'm serious about you. I rarely meet a girl like you, so considerate, so pure. You have this radiance about you. When I'm with you, I just want to keep looking at you forever. Mr. Zeke, I'm sorry. You've always been my idol, my motivation to keep going. Your works are so warm, just like you. I enjoy spending time with you, but I know it very well. That kind of affection isn't romantic love. You. Mr. Zeke, I'm sorry. It's fine, Vivian. You don't need to apologize. I understand. It's hard for you to accept, but that's okay. We can take it slow. Come on. Let's eat. Mrs. Lane? Mr. Quinn, did he send you here? Please go back and tell him. I don't want to see him now. No. I came on my own. Actually, as soon as Mr. Lane knew you were looking for a studio, he assigned me to find places near Sunny Street. He chose Blue Water Estate, Mr. Lewis's property. He came here to sign the contract with Mr. Lewis. What? He's finding me a studio? That's right. He came here today to sign the contract with Mr. Lewis. Well, Mr. Zeke, I have something to do, so I'll leave first. Hey, Vivian. Chris, I'm a bit curious. With Ethan's personality, how did he even meet Vivian? And they got married. I didn't even know. Master Zeke, if you're curious, you can ask Mr. Lane yourself. Hello? I want to see your CEO. Do you have an appointment? Appointment? No, but I am... Sorry, no appointment, no meeting our CEO. I really need to see him. Please, just 10 minutes. 10 minutes, that's all. You're making it hard for me. If everyone did this, I'd spend all day dealing with visitors and never get anything else done. What? Hang up on me. Lady, if you've got nothing else, and please leave. I'm really busy. No time to entertain you. Please, just let me. See your CEO. Oh, Ms. Lawson, you're here. Is your CEO yes, here? Yes, I'll lead you there. No need. Thanks. She has no appointment either. Why could she get in? Who is she? Is she new here? She really has no manners. Oh no, Ms. Lawson, this woman wants to meet our CEO, but without appointment, I just can't get rid of her. Who do you think you are? And you think you can meet Ethan? You shouldn't talk like that. Hmm. don't like it. You can leave. You're not welcomed. You... Miss, if you don't leave soon, I'll have to call security. I want to ask which floor the CEO's office is on. It shouldn't be hard to answer. Ethan is on the 18th floor. What? You? You want to see Ethan? Let me tell you. Ethan is my man. Your man? When did Ethan start keeping another woman? What are you talking about? I'm the future Mrs. Lane. Enough. I've seen plenty of women like you. Thinking you can. Seduce men. With your good look, I'm telling you, countless women are pursuing. Ethan, you should just leave now. Sorry, but I am Mrs. Lane. What? You're Mrs. Lane? Nonsense. I'm Mrs. Lane, okay? How could Ethan ever like a woman like you? You should take a good look at yourself. Do you deserve him? I didn't expect you to believe me. Stop there. What now? Listen up. I'm the heiress of Lawson family. So? You know what? You really lack self-awareness. I am telling you, Ethan is mine. You and nobody. Think you can take him from me? I didn't take him. Ethan is already my husband. So I'm meeting my own husband, Ms. Lawson. Don't you think you're overstepping? No matter if you're a guy or a girl, you shouldn't just barge into other people's relationships. You? You have no shame? 
Ethan, you're here. This woman is shameless. She's causing a scene at the company. I was about to throw her out. Oh no, this is bad. Or will Mr. Lane think I messed it up? I can't even handle a woman. What if he fires me? Who did you just call shameless? It's her, Ethan. She just boasted that you are her husband. She wants to see you without appointment. Dream on. She's right. How is this possible? Ethan, when did you get married? I like you so much. How could you marry another woman? Do I need to notify you when and whom to get married? But, but what? Apologize to my wife. I... Don't make me repeat myself. Otherwise, I have my ways to make loss and family pay the price for what you just did. Mrs. Lane, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Just now, I mistreated you. I'll let it go. Will you leave by yourself? Or should I make you? Um... You want to shut the door? Can't you talk to me? Am I that annoying to you? When did I shut the door? But you just did. I saw it with my own eyes. Stop following me. I'm sorry? Sorry? Sorry for what? Well, how would I know it? If you didn't tell me about the studio, if you'd told me earlier, I wouldn't have asked someone else for help. Is that how you apologize? This is exactly the problem. Between us, you never say anything, but I'm not a mind reader. Let's be open to each other. Stop with all the guessing. Is that so hard? I don't want to argue with you. Look, I'm talking to you here. This isn't arguing. Who told you to talk in that way? No one needs to tell me. You always keep everything in. You don't show any emotion. It's like I have to decode you every day. I'm scared to upset you. A day or two is fine, but it's tired if you keep doing this. Is that your point, Vivian? You don't even know what you did wrong. Think about it carefully. Come back to me when you get it. Hey, Ethan, wait. Ethan, stop. Is it because of Mr. Zeke? Who is that woman? Mr. Lane hates it when women touch him. Exactly. And she's causing a scene here. I bet in three seconds, Mr. Lane will have her thrown out. Tell me, is it because of Mr. Zeke? You're a fool. I just admire him. He's my idol. That's all. I started painting because of him. When I see my idol, I show my admiration. What's wrong with that? You're married. What isn't having me enough? Can't I even pursue my own dreams? Mr. Zeke's paintings healed my childhood. If Mr. Zeke didn't appear, I wouldn't even know what I'd be like now. I've made it clear to him. You don't need to worry. How did you tell him? I told him we were impossible. It's just admiration between him and me. I... Oh, are you busy? I'll head off then. By the way, can I use the Blue Water Estate? You bought for me. You bought it for me. I like it. I really do. Whatever you want. I'm opening it the day after tomorrow. Could you come as my guest? I'm quite busy, so I may not make it. That's fine. I'll make a video call then. Maybe you could spare a moment to take a look. It'd mean a lot to me. Chris, cancel all my plans for the day after tomorrow. I've got something more important. Vivian, nice to see you again. Ross, what are you doing here? Vivian, can you help me? Could you talk to Mr. Lane? I know I was wrong. Could you ask him to spare me? I... Vivian, I do like you. If you help me, I'll get back together with you. Are you insane? Don't let me see you again. You disgust me. Vivian... This is not over. Vivian, I can't believe Mr. Lane, who's always been indifferent to women, would marry you. I'm so envious. Oh, stop it. Come on, smash. You, what are you doing? Stop it or I'll call for help. Go ahead. Anyway, you've already ruined me. I'll drag you down with me. No, Vivian, Vivian. Ethan. Mr. Lane, Mr. Lane. Vivian, how dare you? Ethan! Ethan! Wake up, Ethan! Mr. Lane? Mr. Lane.
You're awake? Does it still hurt? I'll go get a doctor. No need. Thank you. Why are you crying? Happy tears. Are you afraid I will pass away? What are you saying? Don't say that. That's not good. You're pressing on my wound. Ethan, you were supposed to marry Smith family's heiress, but now you've married their maid's daughter? I do like Vivian, but you still need to give Smith family an explanation. I understand, Mom. Who I marry, who I love, that's not for them to meddle with. Go ahead and answer it. You're the CEO, managing everything. Don't let the project get delayed. This foie gras costs thousands. So expensive. Hey, Vivian. Instead of staying home to look after your comatose husband, what are you doing in a fancy restaurant like Emerald Retreat? Yanis? Yanis, who is this lady? Which noble family is she from? I've never seen her in Sunnydale. Jay, she is not some noble lady. She's Vivian, the daughter of our maid. Oh, so she's Vivian. Who replaced you and Mary, the heir of Lane family? Exactly. If it weren't for me, she would never have the chance to marry into Lane family. Heh, <laughs> she's pretty enough, but it's quite a pity to serve a comatose husband. Miss Smith, please, mind your words. Oh, getting angry? Oh, I was just stating the facts. You're really acting like you're Mrs. Lane. You've really played the role seriously? Yeah. If it weren't for me, you'd be just like your mute mom, only suited to serve others. Don't go too far. You not? Do you know who Jay is? What are you trying to say? Of course, I'm showing you how big the gap between us. Jay is the heir of Yale family, which runs the largest steel trading corporation worldwide, and he'll be the chairman of Sunnydale Chamber of Commerce. But you are just the daughter of a maid. Now you've married into Lane family. You dare hang up on me? You've got some nerve. Yanis Yan, I think you must leave. You think being Mrs. Lane makes you noble? Your comatose husband is a total crap. A total crap? Giannis, I don't think so. You don't think so? He had a car accident two years ago. The doctor said he only has a 1% chance of waking up. They have consulted all the top doctors in the world. Unless there's a miracle. Otherwise, he'll never wake up. Look at your dress. It's quite decent. Seems like Lane family's been good to you. What's going on with Lane Family's amusement park project? Don't keep my dad waiting too long. Amusement park project? I don't think that's my concern. Miss Smith, I married into Lane Family, but I'm not your spy. What, you want me to marry in to benefit you? That should be a separate deal, right? Since you replaced me to marry into Lane Family, helping Smith Family to grow is your duty. Don't forget, your mute mom still stays in our family. You better behave. Is that a threat? You forced me to marry him, and now you're threatening me. You think money means everything? You think being rich means you can control people's lives? Hey, Jay. Look, her life's worthless, yet her pride's stronger than ever. Huh. A common flaw of the poor. I've seen it plenty. Miss Smith, I suggest you leave before you regret it. Hey, you. What are you doing? Who are you? Yana Smith. Right, I am Yanis Smith, heiress of the Smith family. Vivian, don't tell me you're using the Lane family's money to keep a gigolo outside. What? Has Yanis been cursed? Has she really never met the young master of the Lane family? What nonsense are you spouting? Miss Smith, don't you recognize him? This guy looks kind of familiar. Why would I know a gigolo? Vivian. You just married that comatose, vegetative husband, and now you're cheating on him behind his back. Back in the day, you'd be drowned for that. Do you know that? A comatose, vegetative husband? That comatose, vegetative husband is none other than the young master of the Lane family. All right, never mind. I don't want to talk to you. We still have Jay. Who needs to introduce us to the investment tycoon, Brian Quick? Just go away, both of you. Stop being eyesores. Well, Miss Smith, 
You've never met the young master of the Lane family? Why would I meet him? I heard that this young master has some kind of bipolar disorder, a total psychopath, and he's unbelievably ugly. So, you've been married this long and haven't even seen him. You'd better leave quickly. Do you even know where you are? You think you can make me leave? Don't think that you are married into the Lane family. You're actually something now. You, the child of a lowly maid. What good could you be? Who are you calling lowly? Yanis, you're richer than me. You were born to be rich, grew up in a wealthy family, and have got used to a life of luxury, unaware of hardship. But that doesn't give you the right to look down on those struggling people. Oh? Look who's getting bold, getting all worked up now. Let me tell you, Mr. Quick is about to arrive any minute. So take your little gigolo and get out of here. Don't be an eyesore. I'll say it again. Watch your words, Yanis. Oh? Did I say something wrong? Your mother and you were both servants of the Smith family. You're not even as good as my dog. How dare you talk to me like that? Apologize. Let go of me. And I said apologize, don't make me say it twice. You. Jay, look at this man. He's bullying me. Brat, are you asking for trouble? Let go of my girl right now. Or do you want to disappear in Sunnydale? You can make me leave Sunnydale? Like, do you know who I am? The young master of the Yale family. Do you know who my father is? Chamber of Commerce is chairman. With just one call, I could have you blacklisted from every industry in Sunnydale. Oh my, this couple made such a scene. How embarrassing. What kind of people does Yanis even know? Has Jay met the young master? Or is he just looking for trouble? I'll say it one more time. I apologize to my girl. Vivian, you're pretty bold about keeping this gigolo. You think I won't? Report this to the Lane family? You just get married, and you're about to be thrown out. You're disgracing the Smith family. Hey, I told you to let go of my girl. Are you deaf? Oh, Jay, are you all right? You're from the Yale family? How dare you speak properly? Vivian, is your gigolo out of his mind? How can he dare hit Jay? Let Jay go now. Hey, you're quite arrogant, huh? Believe it or not, with one phone call, you will disappear from Sunnydale. So what if you're from the Yale family? Just the son of Chamber of Commerce president. You think you have the right to make me disappear? Hey, you'd better apologize and leave. You two jerk. Dare to demand Jay apologize. So cocky. What? You. What are you doing? Mr. Quick, please, come in. Oh, Mr. Lane, what brings you here? Mr. Quick, is he your friend? Mr. Quick, this guy just said he'd kick me out of Sunnydale. How do you think deal with that? What? His father only holds his seat as chairman of the Chamber of Commerce because of my support. So, your father just got settled in, and now you're getting this copy. No. Mr. Quick, you must get me wrong. He's just a gigolo. I just gave them a lesson. How dare you? Mr. Quick, perhaps there's some misunderstanding. This brat... You fool. Do you even know who he is? Isn't he just some kept man of this woman? Kept man? Are you tired of living? Listen, he's the young master of the Lane family in Sunnydale. What? He's the Lane family's young master? The untouchable heir. How could that be possible? No, no way, he's... Mr. Lane, isn't it possible? Isn't Mr. Lane supposed to be bedridden and comatose? Vivian, what's going on? What are you doing? Enough. Today I came to the Emerald Retreat to have dinner with my wife and uh, I didn't expect to run into these two, ruining our mood. Now my wife is quite upset. I heard these two wanted to cooperate with you. You know what to do, don't you? Yes, I understand. Mr. Quick, I truly realized my mistake. I didn't know he was Mr. Lane. If I'd known, even if I had a hundred lives, I wouldn't have dared. Mr. Quick, I think, Chamber of Commerce Chairman, needs a new person. Mr. Lane, I was wrong. I have realized my mistake. Mr. Lane. Mr. Quick, I was wrong. I truly realized my mistake. You really have no limits, acting recklessly in front of Mr. Lane. Now, on behalf of the Elders of Sunnydale Association, I officially inform you that your father's position as chairman has been revoked. From now on, the Quick family will no longer have any dealings with your family. Mr. Quick! 
Our family has billions in dealings with your family. By doing this, aren't you cutting off our cash flow? Are you pushing the Yale family to its end? You brought this upon yourselves. And you whose family are you with? Me? Uh... Mr. Quick, she was behind all of these things. She's the heiress of the Smith family. Mr. Lane, Mr. Quick, I truly know my mistake. Please give our family another chance. I'm begging you. Jay, what are you saying? I... The Smith family, is it? Very well. Now I also inform you that, from this moment forward, the Quick family will no longer have any business dealings with the Smith family. Mr. Lane, I truly know my mistake now. I am the real Yanis. This woman is just a fake. She took my place to marry you. Mr. Lane, what I'm saying is the truth. Now both of you know to apologize. Where did all that arrogance go? Lane, I have my own reasons. When I found out I was chosen by the Lane family, I was actually happy. But Vivian, she schemed at my wedding and took my place. She married you instead of me. You were happy, huh? Earlier, you kept calling me a vegetable, a useless cripple. Did you actually want to marry me? I... Enough, Mr. Quick. These two are too noisy. Bothering my wife's mood. Kick them out. Guards. Chase both of them out. Mr. Quick. Mr. Lane. Mr. Lane. Mr. Lane, recently we have a green tourism project. When you have time, let's discuss it. Sure. I'll have our representative contact you. Great. Great. Enjoy your time with your wife. I'll take my leave. Thank you for earlier. Has Yanis always treated you this way? No. My mother was a maid in her house. My father was their driver. Ten years ago, my father saved the master's life. Since then, the Smith family has supported my mother and me. So they forced you to marry me. It wasn't exactly forced. Thank you for earlier. You're my wife. From now on, you don't have to lower yourself to anyone. When cutting steak, slice along the grain. I've never had Western food before. From now on, no kissing at random. No kissing at random. Are you asking for an official kiss? I, I need to use the restroom. You... you wretch! It's all because of you that the Yale family is banned everywhere. Are you insane? How dare you hit me? Young master of the Lane family. The most powerful man in Sunnydale. He controls everything. Now, not only has my dad lost his chairman position, but our entire family is finished. Finished! If you want to blame someone, blame Vivian. Why are you hitting me? Are you crazy? You! You're out of your mind. You better see a doctor quickly. You wretch! How dare you talk to me like that? Your family is nothing! How dare you treat me this way? Huh? Oh, still thinking of yourself as the young master of the Yale family, Chamber of Commerce chairman's son. The Yale family is done now. In a few days, they'll be erased from Sunnydale. You wretch! If it weren't for you, would I be like this? So stupid. Hi, Dad. You idiot. I just got my position as chairman of Chamber of Commerce, and you dare to offend Mr. Lane. I've been expelled from the chamber, and now the entire city has turned against us. Where the hell have you been? Go home right now. What? The entire city banned our family. Hello? Dad? It's all over. Ethan Lane. You were being heartless first. Just you wait. This Ethan doesn't seem as cold-hearted as they say. Watch out. Vivian. 
How dare you? Who sent you? What's happening, Mr. Lane? Help me find out who sent him here. Yes, Mr. Lane. Here's all the evidence of the car accident years ago. The mastermind is your uncle. Hand over the evidence to the lawyer. I'll handle this personally. Yes, sir. You can leave. I'll take over. Yes, Mr. Lane. I can do it myself. Don't do anything foolish How again. How can you be like this? I just risked my life to save you. You owe me a life now. So what do you want, Noe? Will you give me everything I want? Tell me then, if it's within my power, I'll fulfill any wish you have. I'll tell you later. Vivian, I heard you were hurt. What happened? It was just a meal, and you got hurt. Mom, it's nothing serious. No need to worry. How can I not be worried? You're my precious daughter-in-law. What if you got hurt? Tell me, already in your 30s, and you can't even protect your wife. What does that make you? I... Oh, you're driving me mad, you blockhead. If you keep acting like this, your wife will eventually leave. Mom... Don't blame Ethan. It happened suddenly. I'll be more careful from now on. Vivian, take good care of yourself. There's a jewelry exhibition in a few days. I'll have Ethan take you to pick some jewelry. Get whatever you like. Jewelry? No need, Mom. You've already given me a lot. Not at all. Jewelry is good for you. Ethan, did you hear that? Yes, I heard that. Whatever my wife likes, I'll buy them all. That's more like it. Oh, by the way... Chris, I'll be there right away. I gotta go out for a while. I've heard all about it. Vivian got hurt because of you. At a time like this, what could be more important than your wife? Mom, I... I what? Am I wrong? You're like a closed book. Honestly, only Vivian would be so loyal to you. If you ever do, anything that betrays Vivian, I'll be the first to come after you. Madame, if you keep scolding him, the young master will want to hide. Mom... Ethan is really busy with work. He can't delay it. My hand is fine. Besides, you're here with me. Ethan, don't worry. Go ahead. Okay, wait for me. Blockhead, he's leaving just like that. From now on, this household will be under your rule. Don't spoil him. Men, you know, can't be spoiled. Otherwise, they'll get worse. Mom, I got it. Come, come, look at the bag. Mom got it for you. Mom, no need. Oh dear, Mom is happy to buy things for you. Look, it's a harmless bag. Do you like it? Mr. Lane, I was wrong. I beg you, please give me another chance. Mr. Lane, I promise you, I'll never do it again. Never again. All I did was firing your father and put a little pressure on your family. Are you really so eager to harm me? I didn't know. Well, it was him. He asked me to do it. You! I... I... Mr. Lane, I was wrong. I was wrong. Mr. Lane, I beg you, just give me one more. Shut up. Chris, send them overseas to work as laborers. Yes, sir. Work? As laborers? Mr. Lane, please don't! Mr. Lane, Mr. Lane! You're back. I don't feel comfortable in the hospital. Take me home. All right, I'll take you home. Hey, handsome. Can I have your WaChat number? I don't have WaChat. I... How could you not have WaChat? I've had my eye on you for a while. You don't have a girlfriend, right? What do you think of me? I kind of like your type. We could get to know each other, just as friends. I'm married, um... Oh, come on. Guys like you, getting married so young. I really like you, though. Just leave me a contact number. Uh, sorry. I just remembered. I have something to deal with. I gotta go. Hey, wait. Who is she? She is my wife. My wife doesn't like it when I give people watch at number.
Was that girl flirting with you just now? Didn't expect you to be so popular. Why are you talking so much? Vivian, what's making you so happy? Mom, my latest design draft was selected by Kini Tech Gaming Company. They want to sign a contract with me. Just one game model could give me tens of thousands. Wow. Vivian is amazing. No wonder you're a, what do they call it? Concept artist. Oh, that company? It's called Kini Tech, right? Mom, let me take this call first. Kini Tech, right? I'll ask Ethan to buy it later. They'll be signing with Vivian all the time. That'll keep her happy. If the young madam's happy, maybe she'll give you a chubby grandson. Well, a chubby grandson or granddaughter. I'd love them both. By the way, about Vivian's mother. Ethan said that. Picked her up from the Smith family. Such a big house. For her alone must be lonely. Let's have her move in with us. Yes, madam. You've thought of everything. Yanis, what exactly do you want? Vivian, why are you being so formal? Are you free to meet up? Send me the address. Vivian, let's have your mother move in with us. It'll be more lively. <gasps> Moving in together, my mom enjoys her peace. So maybe... Let's not trouble with your mom. I'll visit her whenever I have time. Thank you. Mom, I have something to handle. I'll head out now. Okay. What do you want from me? Vivian, it seems you're enjoying your position as Mrs. Lane. If it weren't for me back then, you wouldn't have married him from a prestigious family. You probably wouldn't have even crossed their threshold. What exactly are you trying to say? Give the title of Mrs. Lane to me. You made me marry him back then. Did you ever ask for my opinion? Now you force me to divorce him? What do you take me for? Here's a card with half a million. Leave Ethan. I'm here to inform you, not to negotiate. Inform me? Do you think money can deal with me? Do you think you can control my life with it? This is my life. I won't be your puppet. Vivian, the position of Mrs. Lane was supposed to be mine. I'll win it over sooner or later. Isn't that Mrs. Lane? What's she doing here? Belonging to you? Once upon a time it did, but you pushed Ethan away just because he was a vegetable. You called him worthless. You pushed him aside and now you regret it? Here's the deal, Vivian. Money is no big deal. Just name your price. Didn't you say before you wanted to study abroad? I can arrange it now. School and paperwork. I'll even personally see you off. I don't need that right now. Miss Smith, studying abroad is meaningless to me. If you're only here to convince me to leave Ethan, I suggest you give up now. You. Maybe marriage to you is a game, a way to climb up the social ladder. But to me, it's not. Vivian, you can marry with Mr. Lane and become Mrs. Lane, which all thanks to me. Who gives you the right to take everything that belongs to me? What right? It's because Ethan loves me. I am his one true love. He can't be away from me for even a moment. Miss Smith, that alone is why you lost. How bold of Yanis to dare hit Mrs. Lane. Keep observing. Miss Smith, I'm now Mrs. Lane. Please watch your words and attitude. Mrs. Lane? Calling yourself Mrs. Lane? Mrs. Lane is supposed to be me. You're nothing but a servant's child. All you'll only in this life. Be a servant, you ungrateful thing. What's wrong with a servant? It's an honorable job. Isn't it as respectable as any other? The noble Miss Smith. Is everything you say and you do to me with elegance? Are you lecturing me now? You? Raised in a high class, with the best education, and yet you insult people so easily, this is your so-called refinement? Vivian, have you been in the Lane family so long that you've forgotten your past lives? Do you need me to remind you? Ah. Enough. I, Vivian, am no pushover. You slapped me. How dare you slap me? Stop. Mr. Lane, why are you here? 
Chris notify everyone. All major companies in Sunnydale and all collaborations with the Smith family. Cut off the Smith family's funds. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, Mr. Lane. No, please don't. Mr. Lane. Now you're scared. I already gave you a chance. You ignored it and went even further. Mr. Lane, Mr. Lane. I truly realize my mistake now. I just, I like you so much. That's why I forced Vivian to leave you. Mr. Lane. I'm not interested in your kind of affection. Don't let me see you again. Mr. Lane. Mr. Lane. She, Vivian, is just a replacement. How can you want a mere substitute? And her mother is a servant. She doesn't deserve you. And you think you are? If we're talking about social class, no, let me tell you. If not for the Smith family saving my grandfather and pressing him for an engagement in that year, the Smith family would never be worthy of the Lane family. Vivian's mom is just a mute, and she's the child of a servant. She married you for your money. And what about you? I want no one but Vivian. Just don't let me see you again. Mr. Lane, Mr. Lane. Miss Smith, given Mr. Lane's style of doing things, I believe you've heard of it after all these years, right? Mr. Quinn, you must help me. Speak well of me in front of your CEO. He can't blacklist our family. Mr. Quinn, I really know I was wrong. When you make a mistake, you need to accept the punishment. Mr. Quinn. Damn it. Vivian, why do you get to occupy Mrs. Lane's position? Enjoy everything that belongs to me. Just you wait. Thanks for earlier. Does it hurt? Not really. I also hit her just now. You are my one true love. I love you so much that I can't leave for a single moment. You, why are you eavesdropping? Eavesdrop? In a public place like this? I just happened to overhear. How could you be like this? I said those things just now to annoy Yanis. That was too shameful. What was I thinking? Why did I say something so shameless just to irritate Yanis? Where are you taking me? My mom is cooking and made you some soup. What are we going to do now? This time, our Smith family is really finished. I told you, Vivian wasn't reliable. Look, look at this. We didn't even secure the project, and now we're facing bankruptcy. This Vivian, she's really cunning. What are we going to do now? We... We are truly done for. Master, do something. Mr. Lane has already informed the whole city. They're blacklisting our family. Even if I had immense skills, it would be useless. Dad, what are you afraid of? I have a way. Yanis, what can you do? Yanis, your dad can't do anything. What can you possibly come up with? The Lane family has great power. Mr. Lane is ruthless in his actions. They're not leaving any room for the Smith family. Vivian, doesn't she love her mother the most? You mean... Exactly. Since she dared to let Mr. Lane deal with the Smith family, then I'll deal with her. Sigh. Mom, Mom. Zane, have you seen my mother? Oh, Vivian, your mom went to the market this morning. It's already afternoon, and I still haven't seen her. I was wondering about that. Okay, I got it. Vivian, Vivian, don't worry, don't rush. I'm leaving now. All right, for this final project, you two go and follow up on it. Mr. Lane, bad news? What happened? Mrs. Lane's mother is missing. Searching the whole city, you have one day. By today, I must see her. Yes, sir. Hello? Where are you? I'm on my way. I can't find my mom. I don't know where she is. I don't know what to do. Stay calm. I'll be there soon.
Yanis. Is your mom okay? Yanis, did you take my mom away? Where is she? Where is she? Vivian, our family is in trouble because of you. Why can you and your mother live in luxury while my mother has to cry every day? Do you really think that's fair? What do you want? What do I want? It's simple. I definitely want the position of Mrs. Lane. Do you think if I give you Mrs. Lane's position, Ethan will let you control him? As long as you're disappeared, Ethan will be mine finally. Come to the Emerald Chemical Plant by yourself. Don't let Ethan know it, or you'll find your mom in the hell. You. Hey, Yanis. Yanis. What are you gesturing about? Anyway, both you and your daughter will go to hell today. Stop making noise. Shut up. Shut up. Yanis, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Teaching the maid a lesson. Mom, don't worry. I'll take you home. Go home? I'm still here. You can come and go, as you please. Yanis, don't you just want to take the position of Mrs. Lane? Do you really think that if I divorce Ethan, he will marry you? Of course not. So, you can't stay here anymore. What do you mean? Oh, I've explained it so clearly. Don't you get it? I want you to go to hell. Then Mrs. Lane's position will be mine. Do you know what kind of person can keep secrets? Ghosts. Once you pass away, I'll take the position of Mrs. Lane. I'll manage it no matter what. Are you crazy? I'll spread the news. Your mom is off fooling around with some man. You came here today to confront that man. You. Ah, oh. Mom. Yanis, don't do anything rash. Vivian, today's your last day. In three minutes, I'll set this place on fire. Burn this chemical plant down. Will you get divorced yourself and leave Sunnydale? Or will I send you and your mom to hell together? Do you know what you're doing? Of course I know. If I don't look out for myself, who will? Our Smith family is now being blacklisted because of you. The suffering my family went through has been caused by you, Vivian. I've been very merciful to you. At this point, don't you feel a bit regretful? I used to think you were just a bit spoiled, that your nature wasn't bad. I didn't expect that now. Your nature would be so vile. Given the current situation, it's not the time to lecture me. Do you think that just by talking, you can change the situation? This chemical plant is in the middle of nowhere, where not even a dog would be found. Even if today I set it on fire and frame it on a homeless man, no one would suspect me. You'll regret it. Sooner or later, you'll pay for what you did today. Pay for it? As long as you're not here, with my skills, I'll find a way to marry into the Lane family. All right, time's almost up. I don't have time to waste on you. Have you made up your mind? Are you going to divorce or give up your life? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Maybe I can make the choice for her. Mr. Lane. Mr. Lane, how did you get here? Did your dirty tricks fail? Let you upset, huh? It's not true. I... Go. That's not true. Then tell me, how is it? I... Very well. In Sunnydale, you actually dare to mess with me over and over again. I've noticed that your family doesn't want to stay in Sunnydale. You even threatened to end Vivian. Mr. Lane, it's not like that. I just want Vivian to speak a few good words for me and beg for your mercy to spare my family. So this is how you beg, Chris. Send the Smith family to an orphanage. Make them volunteer there for ten years. Okay, I'll contact them right away. No, you can't treat me like this. Stay back, Ethan Lane. I know I'm not your match and you won't let me go. At worst... We all go to hell. I'll make Vivian be my companion. Miss Smith, don't be reckless. Ha 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 ha. Now I've got nothing left anyway. She's just a lowly servant. How dare she look down on me, taking everything from me. No way. Damn. 
You all go to hell. Yanis, if I can't live, you won't have it easy either. Even if you are alive, Ethan still won't spare me. Vivian, you took everything that belonged to me. What do you want? What do I want? Will you give it to me? All right. Transfer me ten billion. Let me go. Also in my name. Get me a villa. In Europe. Okay. You let her go first. Money will be transferred to your account. Ten billion is not small amount. It requires certain procedures. Besides, in Europe I possess two luxurious villas and I'll have someone transfer them to you. Are you really gonna let me go? You won't send someone later to hunt me down or take revenge. Things that money can solve aren't issues at all. Just let her go first. Stay back. I can't release her yet. What if you change your mind? Ethan, I know you have overwhelming power. You could crush me like stepping on an ant. But right now, she's in my hands. What if I slip up and don't control it properly? Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't come any closer. Don't move. Don't move. Ah, oh, my hand. Mom, I'm fine. Don't worry. Mr. Lane, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I really won't do it anymore. Yanis, you never seem to learn, do you? Chris, does the Lane family have a project in desert? What do you think? I'll send Yana to the desert to plant trees. Plant trees? I can't do that. I'm a noble lady. How can I plant trees, Mr. Lane? Please, spare me. I swear I won't do it again. Let's go. Mr. Quinn, Mr. Quinn, you have to plead for me. I can't go planting trees. It'll be suffering. I swear, I won't do it again. Planting trees is a mercy for you. You, a wicked woman like you, are nothing but trouble. Let's go. Ah. Thank you. For today. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would happen. Didn't I tell you before, if there's any problem, contact me first. Why did you go to Giannis by yourself? I was just too worried about my mom. I lost my mind for a moment. I'm sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. No need to apologize to me. I'm, I'm just saying, I think in any situation, safety is the top priority. Got it. Why are you smiling? Were you worried about me just now? You're my wife. Is it not okay to worry about you? No, not at all. Let's go inside. Mom must be anxious. Mom. Vivian! You really scared me. How could you and your mom be taken away? Mr. and Mrs. Lane, Madame just now, fainted because of this. Fainted? Mom, are you okay now? It's fine. Seeing that you're both safe, I'm so relieved. How is your mom doing now? Why not bring her here to stay with us? Was such a thing happened, I'd feel uneasy with her living alone. My... my mom... Vivian's mom likes quiet places. I've let her stay at the Cloud Villa with maids and bodyguards there. Don't worry. The Cloud Villa is great. In the future, I'll also move to Cloud Villa. I'll visit Vivian's mom when I have time. Vivian, I made your favorite pork rib soup. Hope you like it. I love it. I like everything you make. Sweet talker. What's up? Oh, you're really awake. Ethan, you're really not giving your buddies any respect, are you? You were in a coma for two years, and you didn't even give us a call to say you're okay. That's too much. Hey, get to the point. I don't have time for your nonsense. Hey, hey, don't hang up. I just heard that you got married. Well, bring, bring your wife out so we all can meet her. No time. Your wife must have time. How about I'll bring Todd and the others over and we'll come to your place tomorrow for dinner with your wife. All right, I'll arrange that. Great. Aren't you off today? Are you going to discuss a project? I have a gathering. You're coming with me. I'm coming with you? Yes, hurry up. I don't like being late. All right. I'll come with you. What time is it? 
Why hasn't Ethan shown up yet? Do you think he got held up and couldn't make it? No way. Ethan is really not showing respect. Today's my birthday. He was comatose for two years, and he might have even uh, forgotten my birthday. Maybe you should call him. For your gathering, is it okay if I'm dressed like this? Does it seem inappropriate? We're all friends here. Nobody really cares your outfit. What if I have a gathering with my friends? Can I invite you to come with me? As long as you need, I can go anytime. Oh no, is Ethan really gonna stand me up? No way. Who are you saying? Hey Ethan, you were in a coma for two years. Must have made lots of people cry. When you woke up, you didn't even let us know you're okay. Just disappeared. That's a bit rude. Hey Finn, stop talking nonsense. Is this your wife, Ethan? Hello, everyone. I'm Vivian. Hello, please have a seat. Yes, please, sit down. Ethan, not that I want to blame you. You were in a coma for two years, and now that you're awake, you should at least let us know. So, did marriage make you henpecked, cutting us off like that? Are you done? Do you think Ethan is that kind of guy? Besides, is his wife the kind to be unreasonable? This Finn guy sure talks a lot. Hey, Ethan, what really happened with your car accident back then? It was my uncle. I, I've gathered the evidence and handed it to my grandfather. My oh, your uncle, huh? Always seemed so honest. It's unbelievable how ruthless he can be. Our family has started a new project in the countryside. How about sending your uncle there to work as labor? My grandfather has already arranged for him to dig coal. Vivian, are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. You guys continue. How can we not worry about you, Vivian? You're the main attraction of the gathering. Come on, let me toast to you. I don't drink. It's my birthday today. Just one drink to me. Well, happy birthday to you. I'll drink for her. Hey, Ethan. Looks like you've fallen in love. You've got a weak stomach. You should drink less. You've got a weak stomach. You should drink less. Your family was just talking to us about a partnership. I'm going to pull out my investment thought. Hey, Ethan, I was just joking with you. Don't be like this. Sorry for being late. Hey, Yuna, what brings you here? Weren't you supposed to be abroad? I'm planning to return to work here, Finn. It's your birthday today. I brought a gift for you. Yuna, just your presence is enough. No need to bring gifts. No need to be so formal. What are you doing? Can't you see Ethan is upset? Was it you who invited Yuna here? Why would I invite her? I didn't even know she was back. Hey, Ethan. Long time no see. Have you been doing well these years? Pretty good. Ethan. Actually, this time I came back. Because of you. Uh, well, Yuna? What are you guys doing? Why are you two acting like this? Am I really not welcome? Yuna, um, why don't you sit over here with me? Ethan. Maybe you should go sit over there. Ethan. It's just been two years since last time. Can't we just chat like old friends? Or does this mean you haven't forgotten me all this time? Now that I'm back, we can start over. And who is this? Excuse me? I am Ethan's wife. My name is Vivian. Wife. What? No way. How didn't I know? Ethan was married. Vivian is now my wife. We're already married. Ethan, are you joking? When did you get married? How come I knew nothing about this? Do I need to report my marriage to you? That's not what I mean. Ethan, you just woke up recently. How could you get married so quickly? Are you doing this just to annoy me? Annoying you? Are you even worth that? Ethan, can we talk? Hey, Ethan. Today's my birthday. Why don't you two step outside to talk about whatever you want? Just not here. Don't ruin Vivian's mood. Right, Vivian? Uh, I'm fine with it. Vivian, Yuna is Ethan's ex-girlfriend. Did you know that? Ethan never mentioned it to me, actually. Ethan broke up with Yuna two years ago. Back then, she felt Ethan was too busy with work and didn't like her enough. As for Ethan, he just found her too noisy, so he broke up with her.
After that, she wouldn't let it go. Then when Ethan had a car accident, Yuna left with some rich guy and went abroad. And now that Ethan just woke up, she's returned from abroad. She really knows how to pick her moment. All right, say what you want. Say it all at once. I don't want my wife to misunderstand us. Ethan, I can't believe this is true. You just want to punish me, right? You must think I'm the one who abandoned you. But that's not true. Listen to me. Actually, I... Never mind. It doesn't matter. We broke up before the accident. Whatever you did in Sunnydale or abroad has nothing to do with me. Ethan, all these years, you're the only one in my heart. Let go. I won't. This time, I came back for you. All these years, I've been searching for the best doctors for you. I just want you to wake up from start to finish. You were the only one in my heart. Ethan, let's start over. All right, let's get back together, shall we? None of this matters. I've already told you, except for Vivian. I don't want anyone else. Have you forgotten our past? Have you forgotten why we were together? You complained that the women outside were too noisy. I willingly chose to be your woman and drive them away. But you also said that by your side, there would only be me. How could you not keep your word? Because you're even noisier than those women. I've made myself very clear. Keep your hands off. I won't. Ethan, I know I was wrong back then. But these past two years, I've been searching for experts for you. You're the only one in my heart. As for Vivian, I've seen women like her plenty. She married you just for the money. It looks like the current one really can't compare to the past love. Hey, what's up, Vivian? Oh my, what's going on? Vivian, they're all in the past. Let's go back and keep drinking. Yeah, Vivian, let's go. Come, let's drink. I... I suddenly remembered. I have something to deal with. I need to go now. Hey, Vivian. If you leave, how will I explain to Ethan? Vivian. Waking up with you was my greatest misfortune. But it's also my one blessing in disguise. Listen, I've made myself very clear. Don't disturb my life with my wife again. You know how ruthless I can be. Yuna, don't push my boundaries anymore. I can't believe Ethan is acting like this. Todd, we're going to... Where is she? Ethan, I must say, you're making us men look bad. How could you have an affair with someone else? You're married now. Be faithful. Hey, can't you just keep quiet? Ethan, your wife just said she had something to do and left. You'd better go explain things to her before she misunderstands. Vivian? It's been two years since you've seen your girlfriend. You must have a lot to talk about. I have things to do, so I'm leaving. What happened between us is all in the past. No need to explain. I don't care. Go be with her. I have things to do. There's nothing between us. Nothing at all. Do you have to hold each other and talk? Come with me. I still have work to do. Let go of me. What are you doing? Can you stop being so bossy? Listen, there's nothing between me and her. We broke up two years ago. Did you hear that? Two years ago. I have zero interest in her or anything about her coming back. If she bothers you, I can send her overseas again. I didn't even say anything. Why are you so anxious? She came back to find you. If you're not guilty, there's no need to send her away. What kind of ex does that? Mom. Vivian, you're back. Come here, come here. Do you like this jade? If you do, I'll get someone to buy it for you. Mom, no need to spend money on me. You've already bought me enough. That's not worth much. You're my only daughter-in-law. I'm happy to buy things for you. Oh, dear. What's wrong? Your eyes are red. It's windy outside. Probably just some dust in my eye. Mom, I'll go wash my face. What's wrong? Did you upset Vivian? I didn't. If I find out that you made Vivian unhappy, you'll see what I'll do to you. Yuna. 
Why is she calling? Yuna? Mrs. Lane, it's me. I'm back. Are you home? I brought a gift from abroad for you. I want to bring it over to you. Oh, I'm not home. I'm on vacation in Thailand. You don't need to. Give me any gifts. I have everything I need. All right, then. Talk you later. Tell me, is this because of Yuna? Maybe. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Maybe? I'd say it's definitely because of Yuna. I'm telling you, I don't like that girl. If you upset Vivian because of Yuna, don't even think about getting a single cent of the Lane family's fortune. Mom, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? We're married, but I can't touch you. Do you think I'm a saint? You jerk! Miss Yates, it's me. Vivian, you're here. Have a seat. Miss Clark, what do you want from me? Vivian, what do you do for a living? I'm a concept designer. Miss Clark, I'm someone who doesn't like beating around the bush. Just get to your point. I heard that. Your mother was a servant. The Lane family is now one of the top families in Sunnydale, the elite of society. As a woman, I fully understand how young women might feel the urge to climb the social ladder. So, what exactly are you trying to say? Vivian, Ethan, and you aren't perfect match. With your background, what can you offer him? What I can offer him doesn't need your care, especially his ex-girlfriend, Miss Clark. You and Ethan are in the past. Didn't your mother ever teach you that girls shouldn't meddle in other people's families? After all, being a mistress is disgraceful behavior. I'm afraid that the one disrupting others' happiness, the homewrecker, is you, Miss Yates. Ethan and I are already married. Legally, we're husband and wife. As for who's the homewrecker, anyone with sense would know. This card has ten million in it. Enough for you and your mute mother to live comfortably for a lifetime. I'm already Mrs. Lanyo. Why would I care about your money? The real estate Ethan's mom gave me is worth billions. Trying to pay me off with ten million? Are you looking down on me? Vivian, I've seen women like you plenty. Yeah, you're right. But it's me Ethan happens to like. So annoying, isn't it? I had his child. What? Two years ago, when we broke up, he had a car accident. I was heartbroken and went abroad, and only after I left did I realize I was pregnant. Vivian, there's a paternity test report and photos of my child. I'm not lying to you. Vivian. I'm sorry, but my child has grown up now. She needs to be raised in a healthy family. He can't grow up without a father. If it weren't for the child, I wouldn't shamelessly come back to find him. Is everything you said true? Everything I'm doing is for my child, Vivian. I really have no other choice, Vivian. I will get a divorce.
Where are you going? The divorce papers. I've already signed them. I apologize for all the trouble. Sorry. Vivian, make yourself clear. What's wrong with you? I don't want to be the mistress who ruins someone's family. Mistress, you're the only one I have. Oh, did Yuna say something to you? She said she had your child, that she went abroad after your accident, but to find out, she was pregnant. Congrats, Mr. Lane. You've recovered from your illness and gained a two-year-old child. I checked the photos for you. He's healthy and very cute. A child? Let me go. What child? Chris, help me investigate Yuna and that child. Mr. Lane, I was just about to report this matter to you. I've gathered all the evidence. I'll be right there. All right. I've already told Chris about it. He'll be here soon with all the evidence collected. I'll give you an explanation. Not necessary. Vivian, Vivian. Vivian, what happened? Are you and Ethan going on vacation? Mom, I'm really sorry, but I might have to divorce Ethan. Sorry for all the trouble. Huh? Vivian, what? What's going on, Ethan? I'll handle it, Mom. You don't need to worry. If you can't win Vivian back, don't bother coming home again. Let go of me. I won't. You don't even give me a chance to explain myself and, and already judge me. What do you take me for? I swear, when I was with Yuna, I didn't even touch her. And I don't even like her. What? Are you telling the truth? Come with me. Where are you taking me? Ethan, did you call for me? Miss Clark, there's a document here for you. Have a look. These, these things. The child's father is Justin. Why did you say he's mine? I... Your boyfriend Justin is, is in trouble now, and now you come to me. Tell me, during the time we were together, did I ever touch you? How come I didn't know there was more of it? Yuna, let me tell you... If the Clark family doesn't want to stay in Sunnydale, just tell me. I can make you get out of Sunnydale. Ethan, how could you do this to me? Explain it clearly. Did I ever touch you? I... Answer me, or else your parents' embezzlement and all of your plagiarism at the Dance Academy. I don't mind making it public. No. I'm sorry, Ethan. I... Fine. You better know what you should do. Chris, take her out. I don't want to see her anymore. I really know I was wrong, Ethan. Miss Clark, please leave. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have doubted you. Never again, okay? Okay. Hello, Wendy. What's up? A class reunion? Sure. I'll be there on time. What's up, Vivian? Wendy asked me to go to her class reunion. 